We have seven onagers, they're like uh, wild asses. They just like so endangered. I mean, there's less than 500 animals like wild. As would happen in the wild, dominant breeding stallion Holmes lives with a group of females, collectively known as a harem. They are the herd animal. In a while, the animal will like stay in a big group um, and they migrate together. As well as their unconventional domestic arrangements, onagers also have a reputation for a certain behavior. Onagers are feisty, uh, they can be aggressive and very temperamental. A bit like a donkey on steroids. They have attitudes and they can be very feisty. Do you know what? Somebody said the other day, oh, we could have gone to Blackpool and seen donkeys. And I was like, right. <laughs> I wouldn't even think about <laughs> getting on one of them like you would at the Blackpool Pleasure Beach. The bold and bolshy. One of the fieriest members of the herd is eight-year-old Apple. Mum to youngster, Corky. I think Apple is, she's a very good mum. She is tough when she needs to be and she will do whatever she can to protect her foal. Yeah, she doesn't stand for any nonsense. And if there's any problems, I could give someone a kick out at where. But while Apple is a fiercely protective mum, her son is cut from rather a different cloth. He's the mummy's boy. He still sticks to with mum a lot. In the wild, onager foals usually leave their mother at a young age, and Cork is getting to that age now where he should have gone by now. This morning, the keepers have spotted a problem with Apple. Apple's in a lot of pain at the minute. She's struggling to walk. She's quite lame. It is a worry, and we do need to investigate to see what's happening. The team want a closer look at the injury. But given Onaga's fiery nature, they know they'll have to tread carefully. It is difficult for us, obviously, to approach the animal. It's always like a slow process. If we get too close, they would just like do a little kick. It would probably like knock people over, I would think, like a proper uh, kick um, would definitely get me on the floor, I would think. An animal that's really ill would let us approach them and I think that's when there's a real problem. A closer inspection reveals a problem with Apple's hoof. It appears Apple's got some kind of abscess. They're not like a horse that you can get hands on with, so we have to have the vets down for an anaesthetic. But anaesthetizing an animal the size of Apple is not going to be easy. Onigar anaesthetics are tricky. You need lots of qualified, experienced people there at hand because onigers can wake up when you're halfway through a procedure, so that's a big risk. So everyone's got to be on the ball. The abscess on Apple's hoof has not improved. And today, the team have separated her from one-year-old son, Corky, so they can operate. It's the first time that Cork has been away from his mum, so he'll have, been, he'll have been wondering and worrying probably where she is. Just one drop of the anaesthetic would be enough to kill a human, but it takes substantially more to knock out a full-size onager. Because of their aggressive nature, the dose has to be delivered by dart. The 
the anaesthetic should be enough to subdue Apple for 60 minutes. But with onagers, nothing is certain. The clock is ticking. We do need to find out what's going on with the hoofer and fix it. But the onagers, they can wake up at any point. <laughs> The abscess is burst, hasn't it? It's burst out the coronary band, so it's, yeah. it's tracked right through. So when she weight bears on that, it's going to yeah, squeeze it out. Yeah, yeah force and poison. We found that she did have a, a, quite a significant abscess within the foot. The keepers suspect the abscess was caused by an injury which became infected. And with Apple beginning to stir, the team waste no time draining the affected area. She had uh, pus in the foot, but because the hoof is solid, if you get pus forming in there, it can't go anywhere, and so it becomes extremely painful. And so we sort of opened up that abscess in the foot, allowed it to drain, um, and hopefully she'll be much more comfortable. With son Corky waiting outside, all the team can do now is hope Apple comes around safely. In the Onager enclosure, young Corky is still waiting for his mum, Apple, to come round from the anaesthetic. She's going to be very sore the rest of the day. It's always a relief to see an animal back on its feet after an operation. As a calming influence, we put Corky in with Apple, so she was next to her foal, and um, she was a bit more settled then. With this particular abscess on Apple, it's going to take a few weeks, actually, for her to have a full recovery. So we're just going to have to monitor her, keep her on a medication and see what happens. And just a few days later, she's making good progress. It's nice to see her back to normal and with the group and she's, she's walking fine. That looks good. Yeah, there's no, no lameness there at all. And now it's Corky who is stepping up and providing support for his mum. Cork is staying by her side, keeping a close eye, and taking care of um, his mum. Mm. 